So just make yourself comfortable, get yourself warm and cosy, either sitting or lying, whatever suits you best, and close your eyes. And starting with steady rhythmic breathing, and with each breath, allow all the stress and strain of the day to just dissipate through the body. And as you continue that slow and rhythmic breathing, just feel all the negative energy and the blockages in your body just flowing away. And starting at the crown at the top of the head, now just push out any negative energy right down through your body. Allow that tension to be released. And then moving down to the jaw area or the tension in your jaw just to flow out of the body. And continuing the breath, moving now down to the throat, the throat chakra where you may not have felt able to speak your truth. Allow that blockage to flow out of the body. And now breathing down through into your heart chakra. All the feelings of not being unconditionally loved to just melt away and then breathing down through the body down to the solar plexus just above the stomach area where all the negative emotions like anger, grief, fear and guilt are stored particularly in relationships including your nearest and dearest. No matter how historical they are, if they're still with you, just allow those to flow out of the body. And now moving down to the pelvis, all the things that have made you feel unsupported and maybe all the support that you've been giving to others, but has not been returned. Allow that to just flow out of the body. And now moving down to the thighs. Or your lack of self-esteem, lack of self-worth. Just breathe that out of the body and let that flow down your legs. And now focusing on the knees, where you've been sabotaging yourself and not allowing yourself to achieve your true potential and joy. Just allow that to flow through the body, down through your feet. And now moving down to the shins all the things that have been stopping you move forward in life. Just allow those blockages to be dissipated. And with another out breath, just feel all that negative energy pushing out through the feet and feel yourself being grounded. And now you've let all that negative energy flow out through the body. And now it's time to bring the clean, pure energy back up out through the ground, in through your feet to cleanse and purify you. So in the reverse order through the body, just bringing that energy up through the feet and in through your shins, up through the knees, Breathe it in through the thighs and up through your hips.
re-energizing your hips, bringing that up through into the solar plexus and breathe up that fresh, clean energy into your heart center. And feel that new energy flowing up through the heart center into your throat, opening up your throat chakra and enabling you to speak your truth. And then continuing with your breath, bringing that energy up into the third eye, just above your eyes in the middle of your forehead. That is one of the most important centers to connect you with the higher dimensions and allow that to be cleansed and purified by the new energy. And then drawing that up to the crown at the top of your head. And now your body is filled by this new clean energy. So you feel purified and re-energized. And now picture yourself walking along a riverbank on a beautifully sunny day. And to the right, there's some bushes and trees. And on your left is the river sparkling in the sunshine. And as you walk along the river path, you come to a little bridge on your left that crosses the river. And this leads to a small island which is in the middle of the river. So when you reach this bridge, just cross over to the other side, to the island. And now you're on the island in the middle of the river. You will see in the middle of this island, there is a weeping willow tree. And under this tree, there is a seat. So just take a moment to rest sitting on this seat. And now you can see on the other side of the river, on the opposite river bank, there is also a bridge leading to the island in the middle of the river where you're sitting. And on the other river bank is your higher self. And you're going to invite your higher self to come and join you on the seat under the willow tree. So your higher self is now crossing over the bridge. And as your higher self approaches you, Walk over to greet your higher self and you meet with an embrace. And as you embrace your higher self, you feel the unconditional love flowing through your body and filling your heart center and making you feel uplifted and supported. Just make a connection with that feeling of being truly unconditionally loved and knowing that your higher self can meet all your needs. And now sit with your higher self on the seat underneath the willow tree. Your higher self is the greater part of your consciousness. It has wisdom and knowledge as your higher self is all seeing and all knowing. And you'll have a few moments to connect with this wisdom and ask for any guidance or understanding or reassurance or advice that you feel you need in this moment. So just spend some time now with your higher self tuning in and finding out what you need.
So now you've received the wisdom and guidance you need. Your higher self is giving you a gift. And this gift has a meaning for you. And it's a gift that you can take away with you. So just take a moment to connect with this meaning. So now you have received your gift. You're being given a warm and loving embrace. So feel the warmth and the love flowing through your body from your higher self. And know that you can meet your higher self here or at any time you wish, anywhere. All you need to do is ask for the guidance and help from your higher self and you'll be connected to the greater part of your consciousness to give you this wisdom or guidance that you need. So now it's time to move on from the island. You can see above you a pinprick of brilliant blue-white light above you. And this light is shining down upon your body surrounding you and permeating every cell of your being. Every cell of your body is being energized and the vibration is rising. You're being cleansed and purified by this energy, this brilliant blue-white light that comes from the star above you. You're feeling lighter and brighter you can feel yourself expanding. And like the wings of a butterfly emerging from a chrysalis, feel yourself being drawn up out of your physical third dimensional body. And feel yourself rising up to the fifth dimension. And as you feel yourself expanding out of your body and connecting with the fifth dimension, you will connect with the fifth dimensional earth. Connect with this sense of belonging. You are now in the first of the truly ascended realms. You have a higher vibration and you feel yourself connecting with this higher plane. And you are now going to connect with fifth dimensional earth. And for those of you who have familiar surroundings on this plane, then you can now rejoin your familiar surroundings. But for those who are either new to this dimension or who would like to explore other possibilities of places on fifth dimensional earth. I will take you through certain locations that you can find yourself comfortably, starting with a comfy armchair by a roaring log fire. And you can surround yourself with the things that make you feel at home and comfortable like your cherished pets or your favorite pictures and really feel that this is where you belong. And now taking you to another area where you may feel comfortable, which is a yurt in a clearing in a forest. And here you can connect with nature and feel yourself at one with the trees and animals in the surrounding woods. So just spend a moment tuning in to these surroundings.
And now changing location again, you're being taken to a thermal spa. And there is a warm water spring, a geothermal spring. Perhaps you would like to swim in these crystal clear waters and feel the wonderful sensation of the warm water around you. So spend some time just enjoying the sensation of the thermal spa. And now changing location again, taking yourself to the beach where you have rock pools and amazing views of the cliffs and islands in the sea beyond. And tune into this beautiful location, feeling relaxed and very much at home. And changing location again, taking you to a crystal cave. And as you enter this cave, you can feel the vibration of the energy the crystals give out. And you will be drawn to the crystals that you need for your healing, for each crystal gives a different vibration of energy. And you can tune into these crystals to find out how they feel, how you connect with them, and particularly feel attracted to the ones that meet your needs. So as you just walk through this cave, you'll pass the purple of the amethyst. And walking through the cave further, you see the sparkling clear quartz. And these crystals have a very strong healing quality and they can be tens of meters long. And then continuing through the cave, you see the pink quartz, the rose quartz, which is very helpful for the heart center. And then the orange of the carnelian, which can help to lift your mood when you need a bit of a boost. And then passing the red of the jasper. And on towards you can see the deep blue of the sodalite crystals and the lapis lazuli crystals. And the striped blue of the agate. And all three of these blue crystals, particularly helpful for the throat chakra. For those of you who need more confidence to speak your truth. So the crystal cave is a place you can return to ex and explore and find out which crystals that you resonate with and find out their special healing qualities. And you will just know which crystals that you're drawn to. They're telling you that that is what you need. So now you've had an experience of fifth dimensional earth. You can see that you can manifest whatever your desired environment is. There are no limits apart from making it low tech and a modest. You don't need anything too elaborate to have your needs met here. But whatever you visualize will be manifested. And all you need it to be is comfortable and reassuring. And you can either return to a familiar place, which you can think of as your home in the fifth dimensional earth, or explore other possibilities as we have just done. But whenever you return to fifth dimensional earth, you're not only raising your vibration, but you're raising the vibration of earth and humanity. And as star seeds, this is what you are here for, your mission on earth in this incarnation. 
to not only seek your path of ascendancy, but to help those around you to awaken and also to begin that path of ascendancy. And you are, by increasing your vibration, raising the vibration of earth and humanity just by virtue of your being. And you don't need to do anything. It is something which you will innately bring as a benefit to humanity in its process of ascension. So as you relax into being on the fifth dimensional earth, feel yourself expanding outwards and reaching outwards to connect with the fifth dimensional grid that surrounds earth. This connects the energy of all beings that like you have raised their vibration to the fifth dimension. Some who are just in an etheric or energetic form, others who are still in a three-dimensional form on earth, but carry the higher dimensional energy with them. And as you reach out to the fifth dimensional grid, feel yourself connect with Gaia's star or Mother Earth in her ascended form. And as you feel your connection to all these beings in the fifth dimensional grid, you'll feel part of Gaia star energy. You are connected as one divine presence. And you can feel your energy completely encircling earth. And from your base on the fifth dimensional earth, you will find that you're connected to all other dimensions. From here, you can connect to any part of the universe and any beings in the universe. You can explore other planets, solar systems and galaxies and connect with other civilizations, including your home civilization and your home planet and feel that connection to your star family. The only limit to the expansion of your consciousness is the limit you place upon yourself. And all people who are engaging with this meditation will automatically be given a key by the universal overseer to enable you to access any part of the universe that you wish to visit. And you are all light workers. And you will help others to realize that they are part of something much greater than themselves. And as your light shines, you will enable others to awaken as your shining light provides a beacon for others to follow. And from your base on fifth dimensional earth, you can access any part of the universe. And today we will start by accessing the Overseer's light ship, the Andromeda Ascendant. And this light ship was manifested by the Overseer specifically to assist humanity with its ascension process. And on board that light ship, there are members of other civilizations who are coming here to help us, many of whom have arrived relatively recently in light ships that are orbiting Earth. And these light ships are cloaked and cannot be seen in the third dimension, but occasionally they will reveal themselves to us 
and people have seen UFO sightings. But for the most part, the over 5,000 light chips in orbit around Earth are cloaked in another dimension, so we're not able to see them. But you can tune into them and visit them in meditations nonetheless. And when you visit these light chips, including the Andromeda Ascendant, there are beings from other civilizations. But they will appear to you in a humanoid form, and the surroundings will be entirely comfortable for what you would expect in a, a human existence. So all of it is done with the sensitivity to your needs and your comfort, and it will manifest in the form where you will feel comfortable. And the environments on these light chips, again, will be adjusted to support human life. So you will have the right atmosphere, the right foods, the right surroundings, the right environment. So at all times, there is no question that you'll be in accommodated in whatever light chip you choose to visit. And all light chip communication is done telepathically. You only have to think of something for it to be understood. And you only need project the intention for something to happen. And the key you've been given allows you access to virtually all areas on the Andromeda Ascendant and any places that you are not quite yet comfortable with visiting, you will find it is self-selecting. You'll be taken to those places where you resonate. So on the fifth dimensional earth, there can be manifested any portal to be taken anywhere. For those of you more confident in visiting other locations in the universe, you do not need these portals. But for those who feel more comfortable having a construct that you can walk through, then for each change of location, you'll find a portal opens up in front of you to step through to take you to the next place. So in front of you is a two-dimensional archway, and this is the portal that will now take you to the Andromeda Ascendant. So if you step through this portal, you'll find yourself straight away in the medical facility of the Andromeda Ascendant, which contains the healing pods that will be used for your healing in this meditation. So in front of you, there is a, a body shaped structure with a lid and sides, transparent sides that have dropped down. And your third dimensional body is now being taken from earth and put inside this healing pod. And at the same time, if you think of any nearest and dearest or loved ones that you would like to bring up into the healing pods to receive healing, then all you need to do is project the intention of allowing them to join you and they will automatically be accommodated in their own healing pods. So your three-dimensional body is now in the healing pod. The sides of the pod are now lifted. The lid is dropped down. And this pod is automatically set to clear any blockages, either to are from present moment issues that you're struggling with or perhaps stuff that's come from your ancestral issues or from past incarnations. So as it transcends time and space, it doesn't matter where the root cause of any afflictions that you're experiencing, this pod 
will be able to clear out those root causes. So as the lid on the pod is now closed, there is a blue light that scans across your body. And as it does so, it will automatically engage the optimal healing process on the physical, mental, emotional and spiritual levels. So just allow that process to continue and that healing process will then continue for the rest of the meditation. And now you can see a portal opening in front of you, a two-dimensional archway, and just step through and you'll find yourself in the bioengineering laboratories on the Andromeda Ascendant. And in these laboratories, healing work is done on individual planets or solar systems or even galaxies. And they can be genetically re-engineered and entire civilizations can receive healing work in these workshops. And remember that because this transcends the dimensions of time and space, you can witness this healing work in real time and on a scale that you can just see in front of you of a, of a size of a few feet in dimension. And this work, which in our earth time may, might take hundreds of years, can be done in a matter of minutes in these engineering workshops. So just spend a moment just witnessing. We won't be staying in any location for any length of time for you to engage fully. We'll be able to do that in future meditations. But just for now, you're familiarizing yourself with the different locations on board ship so you feel at home. So now another translocation portal will open in front of you. So just step through that. And it will take you to the docking bays. And these docking bays can be manifested whenever required, when light ships want to visit the Andromeda Ascendant. Often they need repairs or improvements or updating their technology. And many light ships have come from civilizations all over the Milky Way and beyond. Some of them have taken hundreds of years to travel here. So when they reach the Andromeda Ascendant, they need to be fitted with translocation technology so that they can travel instantaneously to and from their home planet. So just take a moment to witness the hustle and bustle of ships toing and froing from the docking bays. And again, this is somewhere you can return to whenever you wish. And it is quite fascinating to witness. And now another translocation portal opens up in front of you, a two dimensional archway. And this will take you straight to the accommodation and dining area. And this has been set out especially for the human comfort. There's a replicator machine on the wall that can produce any food or drink desired. So you certainly won't go hungry or thirsty. All you need to do is to visualize what you require, project the intention onto the machine, and that will manifest. So as with everything else on board this light ship, your every requirement will be met. So again, just spend 
a few moments witnessing the accommodation and dining area. And now another translocation portal opens up in front of you that you can step through and you'll be taken straight away to the Arboretum. Again, this is on board ship. It's four miles long, so you have plenty of space to enjoy. Ideal for relaxing and enjoying nature. And it can manifest for you whatever you feel you'd like for your enjoyment, be it a familiar forest, or maybe you would like to manifest something more exotic and unusual. And this is an ideal place to connect with nature and feel relaxed. And again, a translocation portal will open up in front of you. And just step through and find yourself in the council chamber. And this is one of the most important rooms in the Andromeda Ascendant. It's an oval amphitheater. And it can accommodate over 6,000 beings at any one time. And you're just here during the meditation to witness the beings in this chamber. And at present, the lowest tier has 381 angels. In the next tier, there are 386 archangels. The middle tier, 120 Ascended Masters and the highest tier, over 5,000 members of the Galactic Federation and the Universal Overseer, who is always in this ship to oversee the optimal outcome for anyone from Earth that visits the light ship. The Galactic Federation is made up of members from all the civilizations in the Milky Way and beyond who are currently helping humanity with their ascension process. They all came here in light ships with the intention of helping and supporting and throughout the following year in 2023 and beyond they will become more and more active in supporting us in that way. And the Galactic Federation includes at least one member from your home civilization, your star family. And in later meditations, you will have an opportunity to connect more closely with both the Galactic Federation members and your home civilization and home planet. But just for a moment, just witness and connect with all the beings of light in the council chamber. And just familiarize yourself with the incredible energy of this gathering. And now there is a translocation portal opening in front of you. And if you step through that, you will be taken straight to the observation deck on the Andromeda Ascendant, which is a massive chamber with vast transparent, transparent windows 
and through those windows you can see below Earth and the whole of the solar system beyond and the galaxy beyond that. Again, it's designed for your comfort. So there are sofas and chairs, and tables around the periphery. And there is a large space in the middle of the observation deck where we will be able to invite in Earth for healing and particular ascended masters, angels and archangels that you connect with and that you bring in for your guides. So the observation deck is a place that we will revisit. But just for today, become familiar with the layout to feel comfortable in the surroundings and to enjoy the fantastic view out to the solar system and beyond. So now you have visited the main areas of the Andromeda Ascendant. Your three dimensional bodies are being collected from the healing pods in the medical facility and being returned to Earth. And now you're ready just to return to the base that you've made yourself on fifth dimensional earth, whether it be just a comfortable armchair, a crystal cave, a thermal spa, anywhere that you have manifested for yourself in your fifth dimensional earth, just return there and just feel yourself like sinking back into a comfortable old pair of slippers returning to the place you manifested for your own comfort on the fifth dimension. And just spend a moment retuning into that and know that you can return here whenever you wish. You don't need to be in one of these guided meditations. You are free to do so at will. All you have to do is project your consciousness into that place and that is where you will be. So now you're ready to return to your three dimensional bodies on earth. But there will be a part of your consciousness still remaining on the fifth dimension. So allowing that greater part of your consciousness to stay in the fifth dimension. Now just bring that small part of you back down into your body. Feel yourself sinking slowly and gently back down into your three-dimensional body, but feeling re-energized, feeling uplifted and expanded, feeling your vibration is higher and you're purified and cleansed. And you will carry that higher vibrational energy with you. And as you feel yourself stretching out into your fingers and toes, just giving your fingers and toes a bit of a wiggle.
and the bodies of your loved ones that you took to the Andromeda Ascendant healing pods, they're now being returned into place with that healing work completed. And in future meditations, that will be done automatically. So you can re be reassured that that process will happen without you having to be concerned about it. So now you're feeling yourself back into your third dimensional body. Just when you're ready, open your eyes.